you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is natalie and on my channel i like to do beauty fashion skincare makeup shopping thrifting all kinds of stuff so if you're into that hit that subscribe button um <clears throat> today i wanted to do a video i haven't done in a long time um you guys know i love wigs i love hair extensions i love any sort of way to alter um like my hair always. <laughs> so what I did is I went on to um, Amazon and I thought I'm going to try the cheapest wigs I can find on Amazon to see if they are actually good. Um, my opinion of synthetic hair is that it is all created equal. Um, synthetic hair is good when you first get it, but um, within like a couple wears it's just in the garbage like i've had like i've had this wig for a long time and it actually has lasted um so maybe maybe i don't really mean that maybe maybe some are better but they it's not like this one hasn't gotten matted or isn't showing wear um but I also don't wear wigs daily. So I don't know. I wanted to get a few new wigs to show you guys um, uh, the cheap wigs. And we'll, we're going to see, we're going to find out if they are actually worth it. All of these wigs I got for $11.99 or less. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a huge selection under $15. There really just wasn't. Or maybe I wasn't looking in the right spot, but um, I did find a couple that are cute. I got one because it was like out of my, completely out of my, um, what I wear. So we'll show you guys that, but we're going to start with this first one. Here's the package from Soku cool packaging. It's almost like they spent more money on the packaging than they did the wig. I don't know. We haven't gotten into the wig yet. So I got this one in white. It's made in China. Yeah. Kind of cool packaging for 10 bucks. And here is the wig. You guys, when I came in my closet, I shoot in my closet. Um, I moved my pillows around. Like, I get stuff, I stack stuff in here a lot. Like, stuff I'm moving around and whatever. So, I just moved some stuff around, a pile of clothes. And there was a spider. <laughs> this spider has been, like, harassing me. It has been following me around. So it was in the laundry room. So like I moved some clothes in the laundry room, like some folded clothes. And it was just sitting there like staring at me. I'm like, no, bitch, <laughs> not today. So over the weekend, there was a spider outside and I, I made my husband put it in a cup and like throw it in the neighbor's yard because I don't know, I, I the older I get, the more I have respect for even the smallest like life. So, um, but today I was by myself and I couldn't, I, I just don't think I'm fast enough to put it in a jar and get it out. So I, I got it. I kind of squished it. Lord forgive me. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm like a little nervous. Like, is there more? <laughs> so anyway, here is the wig I got. Um, it's white. It's a white wig, which I'm cool with that. And honestly, first impressions, this is actually pretty good. It feels nice. It's a little shiny. Um, all wigs have that kind of shine, but the bangs are done well. Like they're kind of like curtain bangs. I don't know. I'm kind of am liking this and I'll put it, um, I'll put how much I paid for it in a box. I'll pop it in there and I'll link all of these in the description. But, um, so far so good. 
this is actually cool. I like the, um, the cut of this. So it's kind of like a shag a little bit. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this on and then we're going to see what we really think. Okay. So, um, I don't know. I don't really love white. Um, I like a light blonde. Maybe I should have went with like a light platinum blonde. Um, white kind of isn't my thing, but is my hair sticking out? Yeah. <laughs> the cut of this is really nice. Like the, um, the bangs are really cute. The wave in this is really cute. And I feel like this is going to like last a while. Um, just because I feel like, I don't know, you can't, it's not really tangling right away, which a lot of them do. I have a really short forehead. Like my forehead is like, I don't know, three inches or something. So like bangs don't really go very well on my forehead, but, um, I think this is cute. Like, I don't know for $11, I would wear this. Um, it does look a little bit wiggy because of like the shine on it, but always, it is always, um, real easy to take that out because, um, you can use dry shampoo and that, um, will take the sheen out. I don't know. I think this is a winner. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I mean, aside from the color, the color kind of washes me out. I don't love the color, but, um, I would do it in a platinum. I might get a platinum or yeah, like a, a more golden color. Um, for me personally, I prefer like warm colors in my hair. I know that's not the cool thing, the trend to have warm colors, but, um, as usual, I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, this is cool. This would be cool for someone, um, who is trying to maybe transition from, um, like dyed hair to like their natural, like gray or white. I don't know. It's kind of cool. So anyway, let's go to the next one. I want to show you the inside of this before we go to the next one. Um, the inside is really done well. I mean, it has combs, which is kind of unusual for a very cheap wig. Um, it has combs. It has the adjustable part. It's actually a very, it's done very well. So yeah, I wanted you guys to see that. I think it could be, you know, styled up top and made really cute. So I don't know. I like this one. I do. Aside from the color. Let's go to the next. Okay. So definitely way cheaper. Um, <clears throat> no combs on the inside of this. I did get a color that I generally don't wear. Um, I did dye my hair this dark last year, maybe even a little bit darker because I wanted something different. But every time I do that, I'm like, it's just not for me. But anyway, I wanted to get something a little bit different. This is like a chestnut kind of, um, has a little hint of red in it. It has bangs. So yeah, the, but definitely on the cheaper side. Um, I don't know where to hook that. I did it wrong. Did I do it wrong? Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. Let's. Okay, so this is the brown wig. It's about a little bit past my shoulders. Um, I don't love it. <laughs> the bangs are a little goofy. They're a little straight. It's actually very shiny. Um, I could fix it. And honestly, if I wanted to go incognito, if I wanted to, um, be undetectable, I could put this on and nobody would know who I was. Not that anybody knows who I am, but I mean, like I'm talking like my family or friends or whatever. Nobody would know it was me. 
there'd be no way. My husband always says that no matter what I do to myself, my face is so, um, like people don't forget my face. So <laughs> he thinks that I can never go undercover, but I don't believe that. Um, anyway, do I like this? Not really. Um, it's a decent wig and, and I actually may give this away in a giveaway for people who do like, you know, like a darker brunette color. Um, it's a decent wig, although it is, uh, shiny, but you could fix that up with some dry shampoo. You can fix it up. You can put something with it. I mean, it's not a, a horrible wig, but it is definitely not my style. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay. So here is the next one. I got a pink wig, which pink wigs are my favorite. <laughs> like I just love them. Um, now this is some like pastel pink, almost, I don't know. So far so good though. Um, the hair feels really realistic. I don't think it is like incredibly shiny. It does have bangs. And when I mess with um, cheap wigs, I always get bangs. Um, I know a lot of people do, they mess with um, lace fronts and all that stuff. I have not really been able to master that yet. <laughs> um, and when I do, I probably will buy more lace fronts, but I mean, a lot of mine are lace fronts anyway, but I just kind of tuck them in if I'm not wearing them a long time. Um, so actually kind of impressed with this. The inside of this is made with some really heavy duty, like lace. It has, it has combs, the elastic, um, I, I watch a lady on YouTube, I forget what her name is, but she's like a master wiggist, is that a word? Um, but she says always to shake them out. Length wigs will last forever. They just will, because there's not all that hair to um, manage. And they just, they just do. So, I don't know. I feel, I have high hopes for this one. <clears throat> Let's put it on. Okay, so this is the pink one. I love a pink the wig. Things went. <laughs> it got like lost in here somewhere. I don't know. But like I have hair all in my eyes. I don't know. I have high hopes for this one. This is really cute. I will definitely be wearing this and updating you guys on how awesome this wig is. My friend Alice recently got one that looks very similar to this on Timu. Um, I'm curious how much she, I need to go back and watch her video because I feel like she maybe paid less than I did on Amazon. Um, I really love wigs because they keep the curl pattern. So you can, as long as you don't use like hot tools on them, um, the curl pattern stays intact. Oh, these bangs. I don't think we can, we can vibe with these bangs. Um, anyway, I think this is super cute. Do you guys like it? Let me know. I have a green one almost exactly like this, but I don't wear it often. I'll wear it um, in the winter time, which is when I wear most of my wigs anyway. But this is cute and what a good deal. I don't think the hair looks fake. I don't think that it's shiny. I mean, like overly shiny. You can tell if something looks wiggy. And I was afraid these were going to look very cosplay like they don't well at least this one doesn't um i don't know so cute yes i love this 
So yeah, you guys, um, let me know what you think uh, about the wigs that I tried. Let me know which one you like the best in the comments. And um, don't forget to like, comment, my recording went off. Um, <clears throat> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you guys. Um, I wanted to tell you I am wearing my lipstick in Jealousy. Um, I wear this one all the time. It's not, obviously not a true red. My shirt is a true red. This is more of a maroony berry color. Um, so if you like this color, uh, come check out my, I mean, come check out my website anyway, scarletdarling.com. And I've got tons of stuff to offer on there. I do liquid lipsticks. I do lip glosses. I do handmade uh, lipsticks. I even do t-shirts. Um, I was thinking about even starting to make some body oil because I love body oil and I love glitter. So this is like, it's kind of like a natural thing for me. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys, thanks so much for everything. And thanks to everyone who has supported me in my business venture. It has been so fun, so rewarding. Um, yeah, so thanks so much, you guys. I will talk to you later and have a great day. Bye. So you guys, I wanted to show you one more thing. I brought this in here on purpose to show you. So um, if you use eyelashes like I do, I use eyelashes almost every day. I almost wear them every single day. And it's a choice that I made because I'm like, well, I'm 46 and um, my eyelashes haven't been what they were in my 20s for a very, very long time. So... <laughs> Uh, I decided I was just going to start wearing eyelashes every day because I like long eyelashes and <laughs> I wasn't achieving them with, you know, I've used different serums and whatever. So I just figured let's do it this way. So I wear eyelashes almost every day. Um, anyway, I was having an issue with, uh, where do I put these eyelashes? I don't want to throw them away. Like they're reusable. But um, because I use so much of them, I wanted a way to store them and so I can easily reuse them. So I found this on AliExpress. Look. It is for eyelash professionals. Um, you can take this off. And then I just slap my... Um, used ones on here and then if they're really in bad shape then I'll take them off wash them put them on but sometimes I just put eyelashes on to do like a makeup look so I'll take them off immediately it's not like they're dirty and this gives me somewhere to put my eyelashes instead of throwing them away or storing them somewhere else that just doesn't make sense but I just wanted you guys to see this because I thought it was so cool um, so anyway, if you are like me and you use a ton of eyelashes, this is what's up to store them. I think it was only around nine or ten dollars. Um, and it does come with the uh, plates in here. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. This has made me so happy, you guys. <laughs> like, so awesome. Anyway. Um, thanks so much for watching you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out my, um, my lipstick website. I also have an eBay. I'll link that in the description below because oftentimes I'll do thrift, uh, thrift hauls and a lot of that stuff I will put on my eBay. So if you ever see something, um, that you, that you really like nine times out of 10, it's going to be on my eBay. So, um, if you ever find something that you really like, you want to buy it like a handbag or whatever, go on my eBay, hit me up in my email and I'll give you a better price just because you follow me, you subscribe to me on <clears throat> YouTube. So anyway, um, thanks so much. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.